Hey. Hello, hello, everyone. Hi. You're Brittany today. We today's the day, Je January twenty third, twenty twenty three. That's when uh we started streaming. What a year it's been. What a what a year it's been. <laughs> what a year. We really have done too much. A lot more than expected, honestly. Um, the purpose of today, I just want to. Sit down, talk a little bit. We also have some uh, stats that I would like to run by you guys because it was an impressive year. I think we hit our mark. What we want to do in 2024, I have goals with you. And I also want to do this. It's the primary thing that I want to do. Uh, let's start with the fun thing. I want to do this. Tier list. I want to all the games that I played during 2024 with Kenasa. Or 2023, sorry. With Kanasa, I want to put them all in a little tier list. So, they're in chronological order of what we played. So that way it will be kind of easier. So, tier list, you probably know what this is from everywhere. S tier, best tier, F tier, worst tier. And then we have this one over here. We'll touch that one at the end. We're going to do all the games and then whatever S is in S tier, we'll see what's valuable for them. If if we even have five. I think we have a solid three. Well then congrats <clears throat> then. At least three for sure. From 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 what I can see from this list, I think we have three. <laughs> so uh I also wanted to like see like shorts that I really like, like low like the good bits, but I realized that we cannot share the audio with ourselves. <laughs> <laughs> so I might do a little, little, little compilation video. Maybe. Don't call me on. I don't have that much time with Skyrim. Um, I don't shark. So let's start off with this one. Batman Arkham Asylum. First game on the list. One consider one of the best games to ever be made. And the one that started basically a revolution for combat. So Assassin's Creed, Shadow Mortar, all those games copied that. I truly and also I forgot to mention this. I'm 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 I wanna rank this in only two categories. One, how good were they? <laughs> and two, how much I slash we enjoyed. Because I feel like that is the whole point of this. Okay. Some of them you were involved either here like this or you were playing. Um, so. Most of them I was either at work. Oh, uh, most of them. Some, <laughs> some of them. Some of them. Some of them. But you were either you were either playing with me, you were looking at the stream, or you were just here. Mm -hmm. Like in life is strange. So, Batman Arkham Asylum. I truly believe. S. Oh. I think it's truly believe it's not. That nostalgia. No. Because I if you remember, I did play this game in hard mode. And I had next to no problems until like one point. Um but the game is beautiful. Stunning. Still works today and it's so good. I think it, sh it deserves S. This one is one that I was absolutely yes. So, keep that one. I honestly don't know how to even put any of it. I just know what is S tier. I don't know what anything else. So, we'll figure this out together. Uh, Portal to Alive. Uh, I'm just going to put it in, in one of these while we talk. So we know what we talk. Um, Portal to Alive. You did not saw this. You were at work. I remember this. Because I passed this in two hours. I speed run through this game. I think. I think it was less than two hours, actually. I think I caught the very end of this one because I was getting off my shift and then you were like, oh, glad we played that. And I was like, <laughs> what? Uh, it's one of the shortest games that we have played. Um, to be fair, I knew every answer to the puzzles. That's why it was easy. Um, and the game itself is short. The game itself is really short. So. I think B is a good 
Because if you play it for the first time, it's good. And I really enjoyed it. You know? Yeah, I'll keep it at C. Moved it down. We'll, 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 I'll leave that one there for now. I think that would be like the standard of like perfectly enjoyed, perfectly game, just perfectly fun. Game. Yeah. An average game. What remains of Eddie Finch? The surprise of the beginning, guys. I like. I had no idea what this game was. You also didn't. Know. We just started playing. Um, I. We played the whole thing in like what four hours. It was very short. We even perfected the game in that little time. Every story was unique. Every story was good. It was different. <clears throat> and I think it's it's just slightly above. Okay, I thought it was fun. It was fun. It was unique. It was a good storytelling. I think it's just slightly above Portal. It's like either B or like I C. I'll put it in B. For just, just right above. I really enjoyed it. The surprises of it. The, the different gameplay one. If you remember the one of you shopping the the, the fish while playing the role playing game mm -hmm. in the background. Yeah. That one really blew my mind. I don't lie. Uh, Alien Isolation. That's at least that an A. At least. Hmm. Hmm. And I, I have to argue this. You know why? Because <laughs> you played it and I watched. <laughs> so you you got to see how much I like. Okay. I did, and I if you remember some of these, I actually I was the one who added it to the list. Because I switched some games yeah. from the 101. This is one of those that I added because I wanted to play for some. Yeah. Is it A? I could make the argument that it is. But I think there was only one bit that knocked it down to B. But I will say this out of all these games so far, I think that one and Resident Evil 2 are the only two games that have made me scream out loud. <laughs> Many times, so I'll put in an A just because of it. I'll give it uh, so far. Very distributed list, I like it. Now we go to the only, only, or at least one of the few games that was released the same year that I was streaming. Our Wars Legacy, and god, did I put hours? <laughs> we because you were here for half of that, I think. So, uh, I hope. It has to see at some point. Will I ever go back to it? I don't know. But I think this one is as easy. Ah. It's an easy A. We have baby animals. <laughs> you can farm. You can farm stuff. You can be there. So that's good. And then it, it, the game is the best Harry Potter or, you know, Harry Potter world game ever done. I played every single Harry Potter game before this, pretty much. And this is what I visualized and they, all, all those games looked like back in the day. Yeah. That grand depth. And then this one came in and just... Just blew it out the park. Okay. Mm. okay, but it's the highest A for now. Right. Halo 3. Halo 3. Okay. You. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, I don't know if you know, Halo 3 was the one game I have replayed the most. Me and my cousin used to play it every weekend and pass the campaign every week together. So, I have probably passed Halo 3, has to be like 70, 100 times. Uh, it was this Halo 3 is the reason why I became. Like Xbox 360. And then with the remaster that I, or not the remaster, the Passage for Collection, I was able to play it. Right? I are you. This one is. Yes and no. Yeah, it's a little bit nostalgic. It's from my childhood. So take away the 70, 100 times. And my one time playing it, I had a lot of fun. Uh, a lot of fun. It was very. 
unique. I died a lot. I died, I died. This is when the death counter began. It was with this game. Uh, so I think that one, that one alone, when it comes to can to, to, to streaming achievements, first game, first game with the death counter. Now, technically, this one I could argue being S just because it's the first new game, new re release game. Could be. We'll talk about how we're saying. We'll, we'll come back up. Bioshock, the remaster. This one is for sure. Here's the thing. Remember, these are the best 101 games. They're also on Steam. Correct. But this 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 list is the 101 games that everyone should play for a reason. So I won't be surprised if most of these games are A B C, or sorry, um S E S A B. Or Zab. Zab. Um, Bioshock Remaster, Bioshock, Bioshock 1. I did not enjoy it as much as I did at first. So that's why I'm not putting it on S. I think a, low A is a good gear for it. Uh, the story is good. The game is visually amazing still. That water. That water uh always be there um but i did not have that much fun this time I was just there um now let's talk about the next entry mortal kombat 11 the surprise one in this because if you recall it was the fun so i was supposed to do bioshock and bioshock infinite back to back but when i was gonna play bioshock infinite it says that it had like an update or something or it did not install <laughs> so i had to Thing on the fly, so we pivot real quick and we play Mortal Kombat 11. And first things first, that was a very successful stream. That's where we had the most. Huh? That's where we had the most viewers. At some point, uh, I know it got broke later with another stream that will allude to it. Um, but Mortal Kombat held the record for most stream, for most watchers, most stream, and most followers at some point, and it still holds. As a as a collective, I think it has the most views after Ratchet, which I think is amazing. So that is all that the the technical. Let's go with my heart. I did have much fun. So far. I love Mortal Kombat franchise. The graphics are amazing. Uh, I am a big fanboy. Of it. So. This game really came out really well. Is it an S? <laughs> For the story? Or in general? It does. Because it has the grip that you can go on block and all that. So uh, I'm a sucker for Mortal Kombat. So I have to give you that. But also, God, it was, it was so good. Um, to be fair, I think this is the only fighting game that we have in the whole list. I think so. Not just in the list here, in the one-on-one. -on -one. So, I hope that someone tunes in right now and goes, what the fuck is this list? <laughs> Don't you want to know? Uh, speaking of lists, Bioshock Infinite and technically Boreal at Sea. It's both two for one. I'm not going to count both of them different. So it's Infinite and the DLC because that one ties really well to one. Um, did you play Bioshock Infinite back in the day? In 2013 when it came out? This game was amazing. I rented it out from Redbox. Twice. And I passed it in one day. It was me glued to that TV for like 10-12 hours. Straight, just passing. It was so good. And then... With that DLC... That connects everything i think it just takes it home visually great story is amazing it's mm -hmm. so much fun you were there a little bit you were there for all at least for all the burial at sea and we had that uh, that moment with the whale <laughs> <laughs> that whale moment and i think that one made it really special but also everything else because we had some really good jokes that one for sure was one of the most enjoyables that I have. That is true. We <laughs> that was in there. <laughs> we had that moment. 
So uh, we need to we need to do this more together, huh? We have to bring, we have to bring it back. This again. <laughs> <laughs> um, it's your stream. I just I'm just your girl. Uh, girlfriend, artist, designer for all the thumbnails, producer, uh, co co streamer at times. Head of the fan. Head of the fan club. That's true. Like, what don't you do? You you wear so many hats. I'm just here a silly silly streamer and editor. I'm everything else. <laughs> um. Anyway, that's it. Both game and enjoyable. Uh, honestly, I only had three games in mind. Only Batman was in mind. This three wasn't even there. So let's see what happens. Dishonor. Dishonor. You you saw a little bit. Oh, you fell asleep. Hmm. I wonder if that happened recently. Uh. <laughs> so Dishonor. I enjoy this game. But not that much. I think I think right there is perfect. Next game, your favorite. <sighs> hey, I love Tetris. Tetris effect connect. I have to think what I want to sell about this one without offending the Tetris, Tetris community, including That's yourself. Me. <laughs> I'm just so. That one magma fire level. <laughs> <laughs> okay. In my defense, <laughs> it was hard. That it was not hard. You made it hard. That bamboo level, because it was like a bamboo music. I remember it's stuck in my head. It's in my nightmares. I have PTSD of it. The game was visually amazing. Yes. For Tetris, I was entertained. I was like a three year old watching a big screen. I was like, whoa. It's like we're seeing fireworks. I love, I love that. So for that, I have to at least put it on B for now. About my enjoyment, <laughs> as frustrated as I was, and I got, and you got to see me. Every time I pass a level, it was pretty good, pretty satisfying. I'll put it on A. I'll dare to say, I'll do this. I'll put this over Bioshock, and take any inspiration. On it. Tetris effect connected, really good, and it does has a lot of replay of it. That does. I could go back and replay them because I played them in easy. I was getting my ass kicked. If you haven't seen that stream, see it. God, it's so funny. <laughs> he gets really mad. It, to be fair, it's me silent for two minutes and then it's either very happiness or madness. But oh my God, it's entertaining. <laughs> um, Halo Reach. Um, the first one in the series, then like, well, the, it's the fourth and fifth in the series, but it's the first one kind of, kind of, because this one takes place before one. Um, honestly, just, I'm not, I don't have to divorce that much on that one. It's good. It's Halo. It has probably the best story of all the Halos by me, internet. Um, it has probably the best storytelling of all of them. Um, the gameplay is amazing, but it's it's Halo Reach. You don't remember the campaign. You remember the multiplayer. Yeah. The multiplayer that's where it's at. First, I I maybe replay this campaign maybe 15, 20 times at most, and never pass in legendary until this time. <laughs> Versus Halo Three that I did pass it like twenty times in legendary because it was that. Uh Lim Limbo. Uh, honestly, I think that right there is where it's gonna go. It was. I dare, to, game. I dare to say. Yeah, you didn't play it was on Xbox, Xbox 360 exclusive. Um, it, it's an Xbox 360 classic. It's an arcade game that was there forever. I remember every time, like, oh my god, Limbo, Limbo, Limbo. And I went, eh. And I played it this time and I passed it in like three hours. There, I even needed a guide. I was that dumb at some points. And I just went, it's okay. So oh, I think on their portal. <laughs> Every time I glance to this list, it's better and better. It gets better and better. Celeste. Uh, what? 
one of the many platformers that we have and we know that we i am a the platforming master and the stealth master <laughs> so celeste i think be it was a good platformer it had a very good story uh it also has one of my favorite characters that we have seen so far which is theo what's his name uh climber um it was good i feel like the dlc if i would have played it it would have made it better because the dlc is very much like burial at sea but it has a lot of story uh life is strange uh, the first one we haven't played before the storm yet. That one's on my list for next year. On my personal list. Yeah. I should make a personal list, huh? The games that I want to play just for fun series. And play like once every two months. Hmm. Right there, Brandy. Write that down. <laughs> um, that's how I did with Shadow Warriors, basically. Alright. Life is Strange 1. I have fun. I played it before. Uh, did the remaster help it? Absolutely. The remaster looks so much prettier. I don't know if do you ever played the original one. Uh, it, it looks so much prettier. The remaster, not that much. It, that's the design that it always looked, but but it's fine. So I think I'll put it on. The more I see Alien up there, the more I, the more I want to move it, move it down. I don't think I want. That is true. Oh, we'll see. Huh? I'm just just here. Uh, Resident Evil 2. I think this one cannot go any lower than it. Resident Evil 2 Remaster was an absolute masterpiece. It was very fun. It's a masterpiece. And I didn't even get the full experience because I'm supposed to play their campaign. <gasps> and I just played it once. I'm supposed to play it twice. Better go back to that. Uh, if you remember, I got scared shitless many times in this game. Uh, some good scares in that in that game, and the story was good. Some bunkers, but that's Resident Evil for for what it is. Honestly, I think that's a very good bit. I dare to say these two are S. But we have to. I want to say I want to go to the rest of the list. We still have a lot of games to go. Speaking of S tiers, put it up there next. <laughs> <laughs> we all know <laughs> Spider Man PS4. I'm gonna always call it that because that's what it was back in the day. God, this game was beautiful. For someone, same thing with like Howard's Lego with Harry Potter games. Spider Man, I have played pretty much every open world. This was the only Spider Man game that I haven't played, and it's not even close to any of. Is that good? The story was good. All the villains of the feature, the movement, the everything. Um, now, and guess what? It's inspired by Batman Arkham Asylum. <gasps> the, the fighting style and everything. So it's like, you know, there it is. Back, back at it. Um, Spider Man PS4, I think it just simply reserves as, um, you know, countless things have said, have been said about that game. I think. Uh, let's go to our 250 slash 300 special Shadow Warriors 3. Um, as much as I love 2, 3 is not that. 2 was amazing. 2 was an open world with leveling up system, all that. 3 was very bland, very easy. Just see. As much as I liked it, as much as funny as it was, because you're playing, you're just playing that. That's what you're, mm. you're, you're, you're Japanese. That. I think Shadow Warriors 3 on the C tier under Portal and above Limbo. Commercial. But just a file. And now we go to Portal 2. Oh, that's where it's going. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think I was doing? I don't know. I thought you were just slapping it down. Oh, no. It's going there. You know why? Why is it going ahead of that? 
Uh, Portal 2 is my third favorite game of all time. Portal 2. Absolutely. Portal 2. What I speak. Portal 2. Visually upgrades and stunning from the first game. The story of it is one of the best ones we have you know, from the 2010s. It's it features three of the most iconic characters in gaming. Give me three. Uh, with GLaDOS, Whitley, and Cave Johnson. Cave Johnson, voiced by uh, blank right now. J. Jonah Jameson. You know who I'm talking about. Ah, uh, come on, Brittany. You know who I'm talking about. Uh, thank you, J.K. Simmons. It's J.K. Simmons. Hilarious. Then you have Whitley, who's also hilarious and one of the iconic characters, and GLaDOS, arguably one of the top five villains of all gaming. And then Shell, your silent protagonist. That says absolutely nothing, but you don't need to when you have this game. So, um, I think it's, a, it's an extremely good game. For this then the puzzles are good and creative, especially with the goo. And then, best thing of that game, it has co-op that I got to play with you. <laughs> uh, that also, was very embarrassing. So. Um, I don't know if you're up for it, but I'm going to do this offer on stream. Portal 2 has community chambers that I would like to, like, Maybe see if we can download some and play them. Maybe. It could be like a summer. I mean, I don't know the chambers either for co-op. So I'll be like a fresh star like, for like us. Your... <laughs> <laughs> I think it'll be good. I think it'll be a fun thing to do. Okay, I'll put portal behind that. I think it has to be. A, a, it's like, it's S tier no matter what. That's the thing. It's S tier. Uh, and then there's also a DLC that is coming to Portal, like a fan-made DLC that was supposed to release like two weeks ago. Uh, it got delayed indefinitely, but once it happens, I'll be surprised if Portal 2 guys is up. I mean, that doesn't count, but yeah. All right. Next game, Halo Combat Evolved or Halo CE. Halo Combat. <laughs> Halo 1. Uh... Honestly, yeah, it's the first one. It's cool. It revolutionized the first person shooters. It's just okay. It's just okay. I died so much too. Don't worry. Because it's still above this two. Yeah. It's better than it's not better than Celeste and Life is Strange. But it's better than Dishonor. It's not better. But enjoyment wise, that's when that's when the enjoyment comes. Enjoyment wise, I enjoy this two more than Halo. But I enjoy them a little bit more than this one. So. Yeah, that's what that's when the the hard fact. Hitman 2016. I enjoy him. The Hitman games. Um Mr. Stealth himself. I actually stealth in this game. Uh a little bit. <laughs> I did some creative kills and we got some good shenanigans out of it. Mm -hmm. I do say this, I would have put it on A, but there's one thing I think you were not present. There's only one reason why I'm not putting it on A, and it's the final level. Yep, the final level felt okay. It felt lackluster to everything that we have done to that point, especially mm -hmm. the um the level or the level or two levels before, where we had the five targets in the farmhouse and everything. That felt like a huge mission. And then the last mission is just like, hey, you're in Japan in this very cool facility, very high um, security. You need to kill this guy. And it did not help. Well, it was as hard as it should have. So, 
I feel like I have played other Hitman games that were hard. Alright. Last of Us. The remaster. Um. Good game. Good game. This came out on PlayStation 3, right? Mom precision tree. It's old. It's eighty-two dollars. When did this thing? Get? Old. Okay. So to be fair, it's ten years old at this. Point. It got remastered twice for PS4 and PS5 on PC. <laughs> we played the PC version. No. Yeah, we did. No. No PlayStation Four. That's true, it's right there. A little bit dusty because I got nothing else to do. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> it has no dust anymore. Woo! <laughs> um, I remember when this game came out, it was like the game to play, right? It was like the game of the generation. Um, It also had, it's the most common, I don't have to say this, it's the game with the most awards ever. I can see it, but I also think there were better games in 2015. I think it was a decently good game. But for Chris, yeah. That's actually a very good place. I think a lot of people will put it here under S. It did not reach that S. It had some very good moments, very funny moments. Um, you know what ironically made this better for me probably the mm -hmm. and the main reason why i played the last of us if you remember is because on halloween horror nights of last year we were featuring last of us as a house we were gonna go to the event and i wanted to see it before or wanted to play it before the event so that the few times that we got to go to the last of us that enhanced my version of last of us but that doesn't take away that doesn't add but I think middle of A is pretty good for the last one. I mean. Uh, now we go to the games that we did not stream. These are the only games in this whole list that I haven't streamed, but I did play. And I have seen. Because we... I put them here because, god damn, I dedicated way too much time <laughs> to this fucking franchise. Um, they at some point became my top 10 games, though. In stream or in steam so let's just go in order and have one i'm gonna rate this ones in a little particular and at a particular setting one how important they were two enjoyment and three the difficulty curve one puts the example of how to play this a very good introduction to the games it's hard and easy at the same time it's hard until like night four when freddy becomes real active and then he's a mother <laughs> um but the only thing about this game that i was okay with at the very end it just became a rinse and repeat it was just mm -hmm. middle clicking left it was left right down left right down for six minutes straight and you can argue that that's every fun after but that one for that strategy, I think it's a decent higher scene. Um, and it's a phrase too. Either to put this one on A. Above the yes. Finance phrase two, I think, is hands down the best financial phrase we have. Seen. No doors, only the flashlight, the two vents, and like what? Twelve? Ten, 10 or 12 different enemies with different strategies that they had and they were all except one easy to study like i think only once i had to look up in the internet how to defeat x person and it was mango and balloon boy i know 
fucking balloon boy was a pain but those were the only two that were a pain to do everybody else was understandable on what to do so i have to absolutely deserves now um before we started this if you remember i did i added top five but i also added the f tier i didn't know why i added f tier until now <laughs> and it's not debatable moving on but the reason why <laughs> <laughs> finance of race three absolutely the worst for now for one reason only it's all about luck like it's not the same like yes FNAF 1 kind of had a little bit of luck in it FNAF 2 also had a little bit of luck in it Finance of Freddy's 3 is all about luck that's the list that no four? that's 4 3 is the one that you have only spring trap but you have to be making like audio noises around and it's there's a chance oh, okay. that he'll listen and go to that room yeah but there's a chance that he doesn't so you have to go back and forth. If you recall, Vanessa Freddy's 3, send you a lot of Snapchats. Um, Vanessa Freddy's 3 is the only FNAF I did not finish. I am still stuck on Night 5. I never finished Night 5. So many attempts. So many attempts. No finish it. I couldn't. It was so bad. So Vanessa Freddy's 3 gets the honor of being the only. I assure you, it's gonna be the only one for this year and the F. Um, speaking of bottom of this, I am very sad that I'm putting FNAF 4 down here. It was very fun. It was visually terrifying. I literally, that one has the best jump scare I had in all this game. I literally jumped out of my seat off screen. I clipped the mic. But there's one problem. It's the easiest game. Like, the fact that I was able to pass night four, five, I think it was nights three, four, and five, back to back to back with no um, game over screens, tells you how easy that was. Versus, I was I was dying on FNAF on night two. I was dying on night two and three. This one, I've, I died many times in one and two. Absolutely, I did. Especially on one. One, I destroyed. But once I get through, I learned how to listen. I got to pass three, four, and five in one go. And I got on to 5 a.m., I think it was, on night six, on my first attempt. Mm -hmm. I'm like, this was way too easy. So I think it deserves that bottom of this. Um, and then the sharing in the middle, there's a location. It's the, the, the one that took the most risk for the series at the time. Mm -hmm. um, because it wasn't just you in a bedroom or something like that. Or in a night security office. But it was also like you could move around. It had, it had a very good intriguing story. And it had a lot of um, secrets that of course I did not do because God. Just look, <laughs> just look up Markiplier. Just he'll have, he'll have a better time doing that. But it had um, a good story. It had a frustrating ending for my end just because still for happening when, with my end um but it's better than one not better than two bottom of b is perfect i do like that all fnaf is like spread around pretty nice tells you how quality difference each one. um now we get to one of the first right yeah one of the first bundle of games together the ratchet and clank trilogy I'm just gonna put them all up here and then we're gonna. So, Ratchet and Clank 1, 2, going commando, and 3, up your arsenal. PlayStation 2 class. PlayStation 2 class. I love Ratchet and Clank 1. Did you play I did it? I not play it. Did, did you play 1 when you were a kid? Yes. And I played the remaster. Like the. I platinum the remaster. That's like it's not picking you. That's why. That's fine. <laughs> uh, because you're talking to my. <laughs> ah, 
So, you know, fun fact, I never ha owned Ratchet and Clank 1 when I was a kid. But my best friend did. So what we used to do, we used to go to his house. Me, him, and his older brother, and sometimes his friends, we would just hook up one PlayStation, and then we would each pass one level. We would just pass a controller, <laughs> or, or if you died, you had to pass it over, right? Yeah. And fifth grade, fourth grade, Kenneth died a lot, believe me. So, we got to the final boss. If you remember, I was struggling on the final boss. Even here, on like 26 year old Kenneth. We never passed the game. The original game. Uh, with that said, it was a fun game. Very limited, because of course the time constraints, or the, the, the console restraints. So either to put the first one, Now, Ratchet and Clank going Commando, but I believe is truly the best game of this franchise. And off stream, after we finished playing it the first time, I passed it, I think it was six other times. I would just sit on this bed and just put my money on the side and just play it while I was like rendering stuff. I would just be playing it. Because I really enjoy that game now. I think this one's an easy yes. Yes. Um, it has the best story. Oh, well, no, the story sucks. <laughs> the story really sucks. None of them have good story. None of them do. Uh, it's a weak story, but you know what, what makes it good? The game. It has the best weapons in the game. It has the best upgrades in the game. It has the most replayability of any of them. So, I truly believe Ratchet and Clank is S. If I put Ratchet and Clank in S, I think Howard's Legacy and Resident Evil 2 should be S. Again, we'll come back to that. I keep, I keep alluding those, but it's true. And then Ratchet and Clank going Commando, I think it's a solid A. I think it's a solid A. Um, I enjoyed it pretty much. Hmm. I enjoyed it, nothing crazy. Um... It took a lot of risks because Ratchet and Clank, you don't, you may not know this, Up Your Arsenal was supposed to be the first ever game that will play online. Ooh. That's why. At least for, I don't remember if it was for North America or for Sony or just period. So they, Sony put a lot of pressure on the team from Insomnia to make the game multiplayer. So they're like, we need to flesh the story but hey, make it a multiplayer game too, that you can play online with other people. It's like, what the, what, what, what? We have never, no one has ever done that. And they're like, I'll oh, figure it out. So if you remember, there was a lot of like challenges with the combat groups and all that. All those levels are the, are the multiplayer level. That's why they look so generic and basic and bland because they needed to do some generic and basic and bland levels for multiplayer. So you just reuse the source and you know fair you know you need you have time constraints they all i think they're all are one year apart from each other so they were like back to back to back it was hard because before ratchet and clank one was released they already were working on two because sony already told them that you had 11 months to release it. oh yeah i love the story of ratchet and clank it's such a fascinating story for the trilogy but you can tell there was a time crunch and it takes a while for you to enjoy. <laughs> okay. The more I talk about it, I'm like the worst, the less I enjoyed it. Okay, moving uh, on. I think we're gonna keep it there, actually. All right, moving on. That's a big gap between one, two, and three. Anyway, moving on. Gears. Um. Dom. Dom. <laughs> okay. So I played it in normal. I think it was right or hard. Normal or hard. And. Uh, I never play. I only play one Gears in my whole life, which was two. My friend bugged me so much that I just. Um, I enjoyed it. Gears one was okay. There's not much to say. Just dumb. Dumb is. Dumb is either the best character or the worst characters that I ever one one of the worst I have encountered in this list so far. Uh, Halloween special Slender which by the way Slender the rival Halloween special in the middle of November because I couldn't do Halloween <laughs> thanks work a very very late 
um, Halloween special. Um, I think it just deserves to be. There's nothing in particular about that game. Just slightly above those two. I play, I finished like in two hours. It wasn't anything good. I'll say this. The graphics. The graphics. Got a massive up. I don't know if you remember. I think we were on a Discord call. And I said, why are they releasing? They're re-releasing Slender. And I opened it. And I was <laughs> blown away. <laughs> because the graphic looked amazing. Um, also, Yatsel was here. Of our last stream. So, you know. When's that's why it's not behind me. Oh. <laughs> um, but yeah. I think it's just there. If you like scary games, that one's good. You go like the eight pages and that's it. Ooh, nothing crazy. Uh, the second trilogy that we have, Sly Cooper. Uh, the Sly Cooper trilogy. Uh, I have played two and three in the past and then one first time now. Did you? Ever? Yeah. I think TV Shakunis, which is the first one. It's, it, it's a game. It's a game. But it did not have the slide formula. It was a game. They were still figuring it out. They did not basically... Um, I don't know. They were still figuring it out. I was not a fan of how the game was. I was not a fan. Um, I also... I cannot be too harsh on it. But it's the first game in a 2002 PlayStation... Or in a PlayStation 2 era. Where things were limited. But when you tell me that these two came out almost at the same time. Um, yeah. So. Sly Cooper, I think, as a game. Slightly above of an F. Now, Sly 2, though. The jump between Sly 1 and 2. Unprecedented. I don't think they even knew how much they were doing. Um, Story-wise, I think Slide 2 has one of the strongest stories that we have seen in all these games. Oh, okay. It's very well written, very good art style. Um, it even had an additional bit that I forgot that existed. Not that it's a, that's bad, it's more like this game had even more than I remember. And I honestly think it should be better. I love that both sequels are. Mo time to write this. It's time. Mortal Kombat is going to go down to the bottom of S. He'll be S, but it's going to be the bottom. Um, yeah, but Sai 2 had the best story. One of the best gameplays. And they also starting to understand how to make movement good. Because, God, Sai 1 was bad. Also, they, they fixed the combat. They gave you a health bar. They did so many good things for Sai 2. The same way that Ratchet 2 did so much for the franchise that just. It will. Oh, that's your feet. <laughs> it will be unfair to put anything <laughs> now on slide three though had a little bit of a messier still very good has the best movement in the games but it was a little bit slow Ooh. is it b oh no not not c not c absolutely not if any, I'm considering playing on A. Because I also have to put my enjoyment. Now that I think it's like, the enjoyment level. These are all like, this is like absolutely loved it from, end, from beginning to end. These are, I enjoyed most of them, but there was something in there that I didn't like. Um, And then these ones are like, I like them. I will not play them again, but I like them. Situation. These are like, we play them. <laughs> we play them. Or or we play them. It was okay. Uh these ones are we play them. And that's it. We we play them and let's move on. This one is fuck my life. I'm don't wanna play this ever again. <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah, I'll put side three there. I think that's a fair amount. Phasmophobia. This one is here because that was the one of the few streams that we did. We met, and it was also after the update. Remember the massive update that they had that pretty much revolutionized the game? That it remade the game? Um, that's why I'm putting it here. Uh, this was with Matt. Uh, 
this ooh, has one of the best it's very unique yeah it has a very hard learning curve now. still learning we're still learning <laughs> We're still doing stuff. We're still unlocking stuff. So it's like, it's, it's, it's been a while. So it's kind of unfair to rank it too harshly. But, you know. But the enjoyment factor. It is. Very fun. It is very fun. So. Enjoyment factor will put it on an A. But I think because of. It's still not done yet. I think a solid. Top of B. I haven't played. The only reason why I want to put it over here, right here, is because it beats these games, but it doesn't beat this. Uh, because here's the thing at least this one, yeah, Life is Strange is just Life Simulator. Red Train Clank is a water simulator, so that's a platform. The only thing why I'm putting Phantasmophobia below them because most of the time we're just standing around. Yeah. Right. So. All right. All right. This is the surprise the, out of all these games. This is the only one that I'm surprised on how good they are. Love. This series was surprisingly good. And I even have somewhere back there a book now based on Uncharted. Yes, I did. I'm reading it. I read the first chapter. That's it so far. Um, uh, spoilers, this one is going to be A and S. There's nothing in There's nothing else. So... Uncharted 1, same thing with Sly 1 or Sly 1. The same thing with like Sly 1 and Ratchet 1. Not that they were limited that much because it was a PlayStation 3 era, but it was the beginning of something good. Yeah. Um, story was fun. They were getting to get the character going. I like the mystery of it. I like the um zombie nazi zombie spaniard people thingy that was a great twist that i did not see coming i was so confused and excited so on try one story and feeling wise top notch but there's one thing that it does not have no, i think i think they all have replayability I don't um god the gameplay yeah that fucking climbing was not it i'm sorry they fixed it later. Same thing was like Sly. Sly 1 was a choice and then 2 and 3 are great. The climbing on 1 was not good. So I'm just going to put it right above Sly. Uh, over for now. It doesn't meet the story of Halo Reach, but it does beat Fox. Yeah. Uh, Uncharted 2? Not even going to try. Damn, those sequels. I'm telling you, those twos. Those twos. twos. Um, Uncharted 2. Wow. Game. What a game. <laughs> what a fucking game that was. I did not want it to stop. I think there was a stream that I did very long, and I said, I want to stop. I want to keep going, but it was like midnight, and I had to go to work early the next day, and I went, I have to stop. Oh, it's like, I have to stop because there's so much. I wanted to keep going. It's when we go to the train, I think. Oh my god. It was so good. That this game absolutely deserved a steer. Um, fun fact, two and four are the only ones who were in the list, if you remember. Um, one and three are not there. And you know, makes sense. Makes sense. Three. The only little problem I have is three. We took fucking forever to get to that plane. You wanted to be in the desert so bad. I wanted to be in the desert so bad. And once we got to the desert, they give me what I wanted. They give me like 15 minutes of me in the desert just... <sighs> help. And then just sleeping and all that. Like, they give me the experience of the desert. They didn't just give me a cutscene and left. They give me like a full experience and I like that. Uh, because I was making a joke about it too. <laughs> so, that experience is good. I would probably put it in my personal S. We'll, we'll, we'll circle to those. We'll, we'll rethink some of these when we finish. But three was not as good as two. The story was not that strong. Um, it did broke my heart when we got to Trivia or wherever it was. Yemen. Whatever this game was. It broke my heart when we got there and me and uh 
Elena were not together. Uh, it broke my heart. That let's be honest, Uncharted has one of the best romance stories I've seen. Like romance characters that I have seen in game in game. In a long, long time. So that one's there. And then Uncharted 4, not even gonna think about it. <laughs> Uncharted 4. It I'll say this. One, two, and three, you can feel they were developed at the same time. They were really tight, they were really glued, they were clear progressions from each other. Just like like one, two, and three, rushing one, two, and three, the FNAF one, two, three, they, you can feel the progression between them, like natural. You can see them like evolve. Mm -hmm. Uncharted 4 had like about a five year span between three and four. So as soon as you play it, it feels different. It, it, it it's graphically different, of course. The gameplay is different. And it has a different feeling. But once you start going, you're like, it feels like immature with you. Because it feels like one, two, and three are like slash early 20s like that adventure chaos you don't know what's going on and then four is like your late 20s, early 30s like you're more settled you're calm down now you're less like um you're more you're excited about other things than just going on an adventure it, it grew up with you and if it's an ending for the series great. that's fine uh please give me uncharted 5 I'll buy a PS5 just for Uncharted 5. I swear. Um, I'm still waiting for that game. I hope it's good because you can put. Tell me, it's a natural progression of like you have the the Uncharted one, two, three, like not Playboy, but like Batman style person. You know, like oh, I'm Nate, blah, blah, and then falls in love with Elena. Uncharted four, you have a um, a house and a family. You have a kid now. Uncharted five, family. Like it's a family peril. You have the kid, you have Elena, you have Nate. Now you have the brother, you have, have Sully, dog. you have the dog. It's like, it's so good. It's literally Ice Age. <laughs> I said you have so good. <laughs> <laughs> no, but think about it. It's just like Ice Age. It starts with three people together. One of them is not part of the group. Diego was Elena. They were not part of the group, and I'm sure they did. And then guess what happens? In the second game, they expanded with Chloe and all that. And then three, it also expands one more time. And then four takes a little bit of time. And there's a new kid. It's, it's Ice Age. It's Ice Age. <laughs> How many Ice Age ones? Uh, six. Yes, two more Uncharted games Uh, coming. Well, Uncharted 5, that's when they... Isn't that Continental Drift? I haven't seen past like Ice Age 2. Really? You haven't seen Dawn of the Dinosaurs or Continental Drift? In Hold up. Yeah, Dawn of the... No, times for nuts. <laughs> um, Dawn of the Dinosaurs. Then, yeah, Continental Drift is the fourth one. And then they go to space with Collision Course. Go to space? Yeah, they go to... But, well, kind of. There's like a meteor happening thing. So, Uncharted... So, 4 was Continental Drift. Technically, that was true. So, Faith, we're gonna go to space. Oh. A space treasure. <laughs> it's like Fast and Furious. Oh my god. Sorry, play yourself. We'll write the story right now. Who's we? <laughs> <laughs> okay. We're on the last three, Brittany. Uh, this was are kind of cheating because they're all ongoing right now. Okay. You have Apex Legends. Um honestly, just, just, just it's just fun. <laughs> just fun. <laughs> uh, Frustrating. Yeah, Wonderlands. It's not Borderlands Two. There's no Borderlands. There's no Borderlands Two, but I am enjoying it a lot more than Borderlands Three and One. Yes. And playing it with you has made it really fun. <gasps> so, <Yeah. laughs> so I think this one should be up there. Okay. Like, people hate Wonderlands. Some of them. And I can see why. It doesn't have the replayability of two, and it doesn't have the, the charm of two. But it's fun. It is fun. And then our last entry, which is the current game that we're playing, Skyrim. King. The King. The King. I think that was her finesse. <laughs> I tried. 
Uh, I mean, let's be honest. It's Skyrim. It's Skyrim. It, 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 come on. It's the, the game of the decade from last, from 2010. Yeah. It's the game of the year for 2011. Ah, oh. rude. Uh, it's the thing from 2011, releasing 11, 11, 11. I don't say anything, it's just me that my package here. It's that my package. Um, it's just amazing. The Elder Scrolls Five. What's the point? <laughs> we get distracted. Um, Elder Scrolls Five, absolutely deserves me. Honesty. Um, we haven't even finished it, and I think it's. We it, did main story. Well, yes, but we haven't finished all. Of it. Um, I. Pretty good looking list. It's a pretty good looking list. I'm surprised that there's, well, like I said at the beginning, there's mostly good than bad. That was the whole point of this list. And to be fair, three of the four bottom ones is my my addition. When you think about it, this one is also my addition. Pretty solid. Everything except these two are my addition. Now, before we go to top five, I want to see. I want to come back to this. Batman deserves it. What does it? I think all this deserves it. Yeah. Does any of this need to be bumped up? I said, I said what I said. I love this from beginning to ending. I love this from beginning to ending, but something happened, right? I said. I said, because I remember I said, S tier is. I love them from beginning to ending. A tier is, I love them, but there's a but in there. Yeah. Two is, I like them. Yeah. Three is, it's a game. Oh, it's okay. Four is a game. Fuck off. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. So, there's no buts here. These are all perfect games. I dare to say. Okay. I can't believe that fucking Mortal Kombat is up here. Um, There's no buts. I cannot find a single bot from Mortal Kombat, even if, even if I wanted to. I was like a scene. I don't think it has a butt. I don't think it has a butt. It's everything that I wanted. In my game. I'll put it bottom of this. Resident Evil 2. I don't want to say it was too hard. Because that's the point of Resident Evil. It's, yeah. it's, it's a puzzle game with a horror game. It's it I love Resident Evil 2 on Resident Evil games because it's actually a puzzle game with a horror uh pain on it that's what every resident evil is i had to look up a guide <laughs> i want i'm not the smartest cookie when it comes to those games so i think it's perfect where it's at. i think it's good where it's at i think the list is perfect i think right now yes i think this two should be they're not better Yeah, I'll put it like that. Okay. I think that that balances it out to a little bit more. You know, this was like a very good. This was a, if you see it, there's more positive than negatives mm -hmm. in this list. So it's a good list for our first year. Now, yes, top five. I'm gonna be honest. S, I've just been putting them all in there. There's no particular order. Top five games. In no particular order yet. You can't sit here and tell me that's right. On well, both Uncharted's have to be off. Okay. Yes. Bam needs to be up. These are the three that I knew were gonna be top five. <laughs> <laughs> the other ones I really don't know because I didn't know what's gonna be on S. Yeah. So let's talk about it real quick. Portal 2, I give it a lot of praise. Um Skyrim still going going, give it a lot of praise. That one I think it should be. As for top five. Top five. Okay. Halo 3. As iconic. As amazing as it is, I don't think it's in top five. Now. S will be a perfect fit. Bioshock Infinite, story wise, graphic wise, gameplay wise, enjoyment wise, good. Spider Man PS4, yes, but <gasps> it's a but. 
too much grinding. I was not a fan of all the bases that we had to go through. There was a little bit too much grinding. That compared to like, let's say Arkham City or Arkham Knight a few years ago, I think it was too much. I also feel like the combat was lacking slightly. Like, I feel like they, because there was no way of knocking somebody out, you had to like web them. So that made it a little bit too easy and too hard at the same time. So I think it's gonna stay on it. Uh, Ratchet 2 and Slide 2. They, they'll, they'll stay on S, yes. They, they're not top 5, sadly. They're not top 5. Uh, they're not top 5, sadly, as much as they will try to make the case for them. They're not. They're not. Uh, Mortal Kombat 5. Or, sorry, Mortal Kombat 11. Absolutely. It, it, <laughs> it's on S, and that's way too high for it. Like, if someone says this, they're going to be like, they're going to go, how the fuck do you put Mortal Kombat above Resident Evil 2 and The Last of Us? Those are good masterpieces. I'm like, oh, come down. It's my It's my list. It's my list. I can be wrong and I can be right. That's why FNAF is at the bottom. I am completely fine. Um, then Howard's Legacy. Howard's Legacy is a surprise one of the year. Though these two are the surprises of the year. But it's a top five. I think when we put it on time, Howard's Legacy has the most time that I played except Skyrim. I don't know if it's top five. What are we what are we putting what are we considering top five? Like what is it? Like the most enjoyment, the best game overall? The, I would say like best story, best overall. Are we are like we time you had like, So everything you want? Yeah. If we're talking about stories, Bioshock is in there, Sly is in there. I know I'm going by one by one. Oh. If we're talking about gameplay, all of them deserve to be. <laughs> and because on the weaker side of the stories is kind of Skyrim is on the weaker side of things. Um Ratchet is absolutely on the bottom on that. Mortal Kombat is Mortal Kombat. It's not a good story regardless, so it's a, a mess. Howard's Legacy was too messy. In a way. Um, Portal 2, amazing story. So Portal, Bioshock, and Slide 2 have the best story. Category. Um, gameplay, they're all classic. Because they all bring something to the table. I think at the end of the day, the two that should fill this slot for now... Okay. Okay. We're correcting one of those. They got Bioshock. Slide? No. I think Skyrim has earned that spot in such a short time because it has literally become... It's just behind Spider-Man on my most played games on stream so far. On Steam, sorry. And it's just behind Borderlands 2 and Phasmophobia. It, it ha I have played so much hour of this that just in this game, or even like my nostalgic, he has made so much. So, and I dare to say, Batman gets above. I think Uncharted 2 is the best game overall that we have. I think I really think like if we're gonna rank this like the, how they're supposed to be, I think this is the rank. Uncharted 2, Batman Arkham Asylum. Mm, these three are so hard. This th you can argue either way for all of them. Well, I think Skyrim is above Bioshock, but not below or below all this. And then this S tier list, I think just like that. Portal 2 is the best of the best. Mm -hmm. S tier, Halo behind it, Spider-Man, PS4, Ratchet and Sly, Mortal Kombat, and Hardware. And then, and then this bunch of nothings. It's fun. I enjoyed that. <laughs> I would I would argue that this is Oh, no, 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 fuck climbing. <laughs> <laughs> I think this is the list. Bro. This is the list. Um, we'll save it so we can come back to this next year and we'll be able to add whatever I end up playing this year. Um, it says that we did 43. 
It says that we did 43 games. It's good. Very good amount. I truly believe this was a very good successful year. How successful? Let's see. Bring out those stats. There. Cool. I'm gonna zoom in. Nope. So I got the three three stats that I want. I want to focus on the main one. Three. Well, technically we can use the totals. Yeah. Oh, very important test. Um, I'll start going with this while Brittany comes back. So 2023, we did 291 hours, which is truly amazing because my goal was to do only a hundred. And here we are with it almost triple my goal. Um, the longest stream that we had was seven hours and 37 minutes, which I'm mad because it's supposed to be eight hours and 20 minutes, but because I took too many breaks, it put me at 737. Um, I'm just trying to get a Godzilla black. Ooh, oh yeah, it's, re it's releasing this week. Godzilla minus one minus one. <laughs> that's, that's what it is. That's funny. I know it's, oh. re it's releasing this week. I know. I was aware of it. Okay. Yeah, because it's it's uh on February the first. I think it's leaving all theaters forever. Mm -hmm. Well, let's see. Sad. It might come back for Oscar nominated. Oscar nominated. Oscar God Godzilla nominated. minus one. Now you have to add that to the list. To, 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 uh so proud. It's the first Godzilla ever to do it on, on the Oscars. So good. I haven't seen it. What are you doing with your life? What are you doing? Do yourself a favor, go and do it right now. Color, black and white, 4XDX, just do it. Um all right, back to this. So 291 hours. My longest stream was 737, which was actually 8. It was uncharted. Uh, my average hour was 303, which with the time constriction that we had, it was good. Um, I did 95 streams, which I kind of want to hit 100, which ironically, my last one, or not the last one, the first Skyrim one was 100, was the 100. I just didn't, I just forgot that it was the 101. Um, you know, we averaged 1.9 views, which kind of cheating because I think one of them is me with my computer open. <laughs> well, one of them is me. And then the other one is you, so. Uh, the most live views that we had was 90. Take a wild guess for, for this stream was it, because I know which one it is. Is it Spider-Man? Mortal Kombat. It's one, of, it's one of those two. Which one is it? Mortal Kombat was our most live stream ever. I still cannot believe it. Mortal Kombat, I'm telling you, Mortal Kombat was our most successful one. Um most max viewers at the same time i think it was um this was batman the first one that we did we pick early batman arkham asylum that was the first one that we did and then most messages was also arkham asylum because it was the six of you talking with each other <laughs> uh, and then so far in 2024 we have done what 21 hours all of them have been skyrim i believe we did six hours the other day this actually is more now because I haven't updated this data sheet, but it's more now. Uh, 417, five streams is more now. 149 hours viewers. Most live views has been 20. I think it was Skyrim. Yeah, when we had we hit those bunch of subscribers. Yeah. Or sorry, followers. Uh, by the way, we did what, nine followers in like 24 hours. Oh. We went from 20 to 24 that we had to like 35. So actually, we had 11. Yeah. Skyrim very successful, so keep, keep bringing it on, guys. And the most message is fifty-five. So total stats over three hundred hours of stream, which is good. Uh, my average right now is three oh seven. I'm trying to get this up. Of have this to bring up now. One hundred streams. Try to update this before we even did. Um, because we have a lot more than this. That's okay. Very, um, very fun. Very fun. This we'll, we'll update this later this next year, and then we'll be able to compare the totals 23, 24, next year. and then we'll have 25 around here. Uh, let's see. Let's bring the next thing up. Uh, goals. Not the goals. I'm gonna oh. I'm gonna put this up. This was my stream review for 2023, which oh. I just want to point out. This is I only played 13 games. This is gonna be a lot higher this year. <laughs> since we can only play PC games for the foreseeable future. 
So 118 achievements, 87 sessions, 11 games. My most played games was Portal 2 because I streamed it with you and myself. Deeper Galactic, we should have never, we, we never streamed this. Never stream, just play. For we fun. just play for fun. Uh, you know, we also like to play for fun. Yes. <laughs> I know it's my secondary job slash hobby, and I still like to play. Uh, Borderlands 2, I know how I got 20%. Oh, because I played a lot of myself because I was playing X. Okay. And then you. <laughs> and then Phasmophobia, that 24% is all you. <laughs> and then 28% for Spidey PS4. Which, by the way, has. I wish I would have updated my drivers back in the day because that would have made the um, stream so much smoother. And I would have been able to do my. Cosplay thing with Venomosaurus Rex. <laughs> uh, I'm so sad that that did not went through. And then last thing, yeah. Oh, what is it? Goals. Goals. I never Goals. want. <laughs> <laughs> so I never <laughs> wanted to have goals in this because I feel like goals will be like, you know, when you don't reach that benchmark that you put for yourself, it kind of like. Um, takes a toll on you but with what i have seen this year most of these are based on like what i can not the community like i'm not counting on subscriber followers things like that i'm gonna put them up here yes i'm contradicting. I was like oh uh. i'm contradicting myself but if we don't reach those goals specifically it's okay it's the other ones that i care the one that i can control so with that said the last goals 2024 but the first one stream 200 hours Remember, I did 291, but I do have a lot more of activity, a lot more vacations and activities that I have planned this year. But I've been also been doing longer streams. I feel more comfortable doing six, seven, eight hour streams now versus I used to only do three. So I've been able to rack up some good hours throughout the year. Um, reach 50 followers, which let me pull it up right now. We're sitting at past the time of recording 34 34 so, so i think having 50 followers by the end of the year is for is it's is dual that one is one of those that i cannot control but i can control by streaming and being better and being entertaining and all that so i feel like little by little we can make it happen um <laughs> Um, complete 15 games of the 101. So I'm trying to continue the streak. I did 24 games. Um, if you don't count Skyrim, Skyrim is number 25. So I'm going to see Godzilla, ladies and gentlemen. Right? Yes, I list. Friend is right. <laughs> so I want to. Complete 15 games in the 101, which is doable. The only reason why I'm making it a lower number than last year is because the games that we're gonna play, they're gonna take more than two, three streams. We're playing Skyrim, we're playing Star Wars Night of the, uh, Night of the Old Republic, we're playing all those games that will take like 10 or 14 days of stream to do. So I feel like that's gonna slow down. So I'll try to sprinkle in their easier games like up and easier, <laughs> like shorter, easier, shorter. I should have said shorter, more, Short. more story based. I never finished up. Undertale. That's true. <laughs> yeah. Hold on. Let's let's pull out my while, while we're here. Let's pull out the stream. What do we have in 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 future games? What is on the list? Hades. Hades is a short one, no? Oh. I don't know. Hades should be in there. Left for the two, that's a short one. That's like a, a few sessions you and I together. Him and Blood Money is a short one. I also have Absolution here. This is probably going to be on my personal list. Dogtail is a short one. I don't know how long Resident Evil 1 original is. I'm probably going to get fucked. How long? I can, but I don't want to. Again. And then some of my other personal ones that I have is like. Uh, oh, no. Um, we have one that we're probably gonna play at some point this year. We have all the Saints Row that I wanna play with this one. I wanna show her the war of Saints Row. 
It's not ready. You know. Um, I also got Ghost Recon Fishing Soldier that I might also want to play with you. Recon Fishing Soldier. Have you ever played Ghost Recon? It's okay. This is probably the best one of all of them. Fine. Um, but yeah. And then I think nothing else is in the list from here. Oh, what else too? That we'll play eventually. I guess Civ is also in there, but God, Civ is gonna take forever. Um, oh, one game took three hours. So. One game took me three and a half hours. We're not gonna talk about it. And I lost. I'm still salty about it. And then anyway, uh, I think Oblivion is on the list. If not, we'll play it eventually. And then Morrowind is also. I kind of want to play, even though if it's old. Um, Half Life is not on the list. Neither is Arkham Origins, but I do want to play. Arkham. I got a few games in here that I will be able to accumulate before we go to the next. Uh, so 15 games. That's what I want to do. Reach 500 subs on YouTube. The numbers is a numbers goal, but I'm at 492, 493. Come on, come on. Can you? Can you? It's only seven. I can make seven subs in a year. So I really hope so too. <laughs> yeah, slow down to way too much. But base case scenario, 750. So hopefully we'll get to 750 and we're gonna get to the 500 um special. Which I uh, will said here is not gonna be Toy Story 2 slash Lion King no anymore. Because the PlayStation or the Racer, the Racer is not here yet, so I cannot use it. So we'll do Tony Hawk on the ground too, Ooh. which I think is here. Yep, there it is. So we'll we'll play it. Come on, seven people. Come on, I'm, I I I really want to play Tony Hawk on the ground too, please. Um, I do want to do at least one nine-hour stream. I did eight last year, technically. I want to have it in data nine hours. I'm gonna try. It. Um, this one is more of a personal one. Retroactively bring the highlights from games of 2023. So if we bring back the tier list, I have done most of this game's highlights, if they have some. Um, like, um, I'm working on the Uncharted ones, I'm working on the Halo ones, and they're all, all going to come out every Saturday in the morning. The Saturday, instead of having like a bot video, you're going to have a highlight. So hopefully that will bring from people in into the future and then last but not least finish two co-op games with Brindley I want one of those to be Wonderlands since we're almost there and whatever other game hopefully one from the 101 I think we have one or two from the 101 I don't know we have a few um I know you know what we can do that it that we can probably Let's go right through. What else do? On the list. What else do is on the list. <laughs> yeah, that's in the list. Okay. It's the only board on the list, but it's the one on the list. And then we can play your favorite one too eventually. There it is. The pre sequel. Why do you like pre sequel? It's trash. Wow. It's better than three? It's better than three? It's so much better than it's, it's what it's doing space. Anyway, to wrap this up, I just want to show up this. This is the thumbnail for this video, for this stream. I did a streaming. We have all the nice games that we played. Um, Brittany did this. Like I mentioned earlier, she's my uh, art designer. Because <laughs> <laughs> I, God knows, I cannot do these ones. Um, so we we put them on or well, she put them all together And uh, here they are You know oddly enough. I nailed a lot of these by putting your s tiers top five three and six. I kind of nailed it I wanna come on Strong Bioshock, but I kind of nailed it <laughs> See uh, halo. Yeah, but now from the bottom, but it's okay Tiers, middle, S tier, technically S tier, S tier, A tier, S tier. There's an S tier. There's an S tier. An S tier. Wrong Bioshock. That one's A. A tier. S A. A. E. 
A, a. and uh, C. I to, found the eight though. To be fair, that one is it was because of you know three hundred or two hundred and fifty special. Yeah. So this year we have five hundred. Hopefully, have fifty followers special. I don't know what that will be because my original special for the fifty was Tony Hawk on the ground too. But now we're gonna pivot. Let's see what happens first. At this point, I won't be surprised if we get 50 followers before we get the 500 subs. I won't be surprised. Or both at the same time. And if we do, uh, wish me luck. Because uh, I don't know what to do. So, anyway, here's the list. I think, yeah, I think that's, that's the one. one. That's the one. The one. That's the one. Stop. I wanna make it <laughs> perfect. I'm sure it will have my heart. This three don't matter. This three are like top one. I don't care. This is a, this is a first. They're tied for first. They're tied for. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Don't hold up. This bit will take forever, but it's okay. There we go. <laughs> that's the list. That's the list. That's, that's the list. If you just came in, that's the list. Of who? Mine. Ladies and gentlemen. We caught him. <laughs> Delete this row. Okay. There we go. I wonder how much this will change. Yeah, what are your predictions, Brittany? Do you think the top five will stay top five? I think your first three will stay the same, but I think... I think Bioshock will be kicked out real. I think it will not make it by June. Yeah, I'm not gonna update this with this one, but I think by June I'll play a better game. Skyrim, yeah, Skyrim, Skyrim is in the shopping block, isn't it? Might be. But it was gonna be hard to pop Uncharted 2, Batman, Arkham Asylum. I think also controversial. Oh. Scoop 4. Higher? Higher. And then Batman. I think the only one who's gonna replace Batman is Batman. I think Batman Arkham Asylum will be replaced immediately when Arkham City passes. Because Arkham City is just Arkham Asylum is steroids. So, and that one's on the list. Well, no. Ironically, Batman Arkham City, the best game in the franchise, is not in the list. Because they put Asylum because of how revolutionary it was. So I'm like, I'm like okay, fine. But City is regarded as to be the but city's not on my on the list city i have it for one of the special i want i won't be the 1000 special Let's get i can announce it here 1000 special is arkham arkham city 750 will be toy story and lion king the 500 is underground funny hard why is it gonna be on my 50 follower I'll come up with something. We'll play. We'll play. Um, guess the game for like three hours. Hi, Kenneth. Live on. Yeah, because it's for it's for Twitch. Yeah. yeah. So <laughs> you heard it here first. If we made it to. Well, I said 50 followers? Yeah. I'll get a pie on the face. Live on stream. Figure <laughs> out how to do that. Um, you're the one who, who proposed it, so you're gonna figure it out. I'll just sweat up the camera and take off my glasses and you do your thing. 
Like be like chocolate at least. Or it has to be like or it has to be like the whipped cream. Be whatever you want. Okay. Hey, unless I get to pick my poison. <laughs> Let's stream. This more plain. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you heard it here first. That'll be the 50 follower special. Pie hey. on the face and then We'll eat it. And then we'll we'll pick a game. <laughs> We'll pick one. We'll pick one of these games because we don't have much to play with. No, we can play. We can play a cool game. Maybe, Maybe we'll play Absolution. I'll bring back. I'll bust out the costume again. Maybe. I don't think anything. Else. Oh, I could be an attorney. Objection. Yeah, I might. You know, maybe Absolution will be the fifty follower. Not the most grand, but you know, I'm saving Origins. So. That's fine. Origins, don't worry. Origins is coming. Not yet. Yeah, I think that's the only one that will be like 50. Wait, what else? Yeah. All right. Oh, Marini, we'll wrap it up there. It was a nice, easy, shorter one. We just wanted to make this happen because I've been. Um. The word. One thing. A one thing. Hearing. Hearing. Yearning. Yearning. Hey, I know words. I know English. <laughs> so I, technically, I'm going to get paid for talking, right? <laughs> um, um, I wanted to do this because I, I wanted to make, I didn't want to do what when we edit our video with voiceovers about these games because if it blew up as hard as FNAF did back in the day, <laughs> FNAF did not do well. I'm so I'm so sad about. It. Only FNAF one had a decent amount of video um, of uh, views. So go and see my FNAF videos, please. They were a lot of they were the hardest thing that I worked with so far. Everything else hasn't been that hard. But I wanted to rank this and also talk about them for a little bit. So thank you for coming to our rant and our ranking about these games. If you agree with this list. Thank you. If you disagree, let me know in the bottom. Let me know in the comments. Because this will be for the YouTube video now. So let me know in the comments. Uh, why Mortal Kombat 11 should not be there. Because I know that's going to be the controversial one. And why Spider-Man PS4 also got snub here. Like he did in the Game Awards this year. And how FNAF 3 is not trash. I will die. I will go to the grave saying that FNAF 3 is trash. I'll, hey. I'll say it. Oh. Thank you, everyone. Good, good afternoon. Good morning. Good night, whatever you're watching this. And we'll catch you. One in the future. On the next one. <laughs> yeah, on, the ne on next year <laughs> rankings. <laughs>